All right, so we got Multiverse is the official Joker reveal feed, Mark Hamill. Now, in my opinion, I think that Mark Hamill is like the best uh, Joker voice like in video games history. But that's just my opinion. We couldn't upload yesterday. I said we can't upload yesterday. I couldn't upload yesterday because my throat was a little, um, how do you say, mm, janky. Let's go to the video. But yeah, I'm good now. I'm good now. Oh my God, Bugs Bunny. We got Batman walking through the cut. Got Shaggy down bad. Who's that? How tall is he? Stop meeting like this. When do they get a load of me? Wait a minute, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Launch team May 28th. Now, if you guys do not know, first of all, we'll get to the Joker in like a little bit, but if you guys don't know, um, multiverses, I, I think, well, not I think, because I actually tried to load up multiverses, um, like I think last month, and the, like the services were like offline. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, hey, well, like, what's going on? Like, they, they just like just stopped the game completely. Like, was it like a, uh, was it like a, um, what's that one dodgeball game? What was it, Knockout? Not, oh, Knockout City. Was it like a knockout city where, you know, we played it for like a month and it just disappeared? That's not me disrespecting them, but that's just how it was, you know. Um, games like Multiverses and Knockout City. And um, I was about to say Fall Guys, but Fall Guys have been on for like for some years now. Um, and, you know, they're still going. But I just thought games like Multiverses and, and, and you know, uh, Knockout City were just going to... I thought they didn't really have like a, a far run because... You know, we all play them, and then, like, I think their peak was really quick. That's what I think. I think their peak was really quick, which really isn't a bad thing because games like Fortnite had, like, a really quick peak. Um, games like oh, Fall Guys had a really good peak, uh, like, a really quick peak. And then um, it's all about sustaining it, you know. And so, um, you know, Fortnite has done a really good job sustaining it. You know, obviously they do like weekly updates and stuff like that. They do, they, they elevate with these live events and stuff like that. So of course they're going to keep going up and, and up and, and it's like, they don't really drop. They just go back to like, like stagnate or like neutral, you know, they don't really drop multiverses in like knockout city. They had a really, really, really quick, like peak. And then it just dropped. It, it didn't drop down to like a neutral state. It didn't drop down to uh, like a state of like uh, of just like a little stagnant thing. No, that thing that thing went to bikini bottom. It, it, it fell straight down, you know. And so I was just thinking about it. I was like, hey, like I got fall. I, got, I said fall guys. Well, yeah, I do got fall guys. But I was like, hey, I got multiplayer, you know, still in my game. But when I went on it, the online services were off. And then, I, bro, you know, I had to. I have to like check my router. I was like, hold up, my router's on. Like, you know, the internet's on. Like, what's going on? And then I found out that the multiplayer, um, I said multi, yeah, that the multiplayer uh, services for multiverses, they're gone. But then I'm like, wait, why do I still have the game? Because if you guys don't know, multi uh, multiverses is a, uh, I, I, I don't know if they have a story mode. I don't think it has a story mode. I think as soon as you load up, uh, obviously you have to like, you know, learn how to play or whatever. Do you like level up to like a certain level? Usually it's like level four and then you play against people like, you know, online. It's like a one V one, two V two or whatever. Um, if you guys has ever, have you guys had like, have ever played multiverses? But in my opinion, right, I'm thinking, I'm like, wait, why do I still have the game? Like the whole purpose of this game was to fight against people online. Um, but then you have like, you know, um, like the, the basis of this game was you would have a lot of these beloved characters, uh, like Shaggy, Batman, etc. Going like you know Bugs Bunny, you know you're going up against people online. That was like my whole, that was my whole mindset about this game. Um, but then like it, it's just gone. I'm like, bro, what, like what's up with this? Like why do I still have this? And so um, I was, I was just wondering. I'm like, well, I guess you know this game is just going to disappear or whatever. You know, I guess. And then I got word that the game was actually coming back. So it looks like it's actually coming back May 28th. What 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 month is it? Right? Well, it's it's the month of May. What day is it? Um it is all right, so it's May 9th. So we got about what's that? Uh if I do quick math, quick math, boom, 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 boom. What's that? 17 days. We got about 17 days for the game to come out. We got Joker joining. Now, in my opinion, with the whole Joker thing, first of all, the way they did his character. It's nice. I think it's nice. Listen, I don't know why, bro, but <laughs> Joker always in, in literally in like the in the Batman Arkham series. Um, now 
even in like the Joker that's in Suicide Squad Kid Justice League, they all have like the pointy chin. <laughs> they all have the little they always have like the little triangle <laughs> triangle head shape. <laughs> oh man. And then we have Mark Hamill, bro. Absolute legend. He, if you guys don't know, Mark Hamill voiced the uh Joker. Uh, in the Batman Arkham series, and so yeah, literally a beloved, um, just act actor as well. I didn't even know that he. I think he played. Now I may be wrong about this. Now if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, don't kill me. But if I'm right, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I think he was also was he Luke Skywalker as well? I think Mark Hamill he played Luke Skywalker in in like Star Wars. I think so. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I'm right. But um, yeah, man. If, listen, if you guys are like, if you guys ever play Batman Arkham, you know who Mark Hamill is. I'm actually really. It's just like his voice, bro. It fits like the Joker. I just wish he could just play that like play that role forever, you know. So, um, the character model looks really nice. Um, uh, let, let me see if, if I can like get like a better. Okay, this man looks like a straight demon. I mean, it is a Joker, so the guy is a school threat. Um, let me see. Yeah, I like this. I, I can't lie. I, I bro, I like how dark he is. For me, I love how the Joker like in this portrays in like you know, the the, the TV shows, the movies, the games, etc. I love like the like the charismatic you know, um, witty Joker. That joke is nice, but like I love when Joker's dark. I love like the dark, menacing. Okay, I'll get rid of like a whole building of people here. Uh, I'll blow up this city here um let's see batman i love you like batman i would never kill you but i'll blow up a thousand people over there let's see hmm how we feeling should i uh should i burn them alive should i blow up the bomb should i hmm let's just drop the nuke let's just drop a nuke but then like protect bruce wayne's house because you love him so much like like bro this bro this is a first of all his whole this man's a school threat bro this man's literally like a school menace but i mean that's why we love him so other than that, other than that, comment down below, man. What do y'all think about Joker joining um, the multiverses? And um, I'm actually surprised that the game was actually coming back. Let's see what they're gonna do, though. That's the thing. Let, let's see what they're gonna do because this is actually a pretty good. Like this is a pretty good. Um, I don't want to say move, but this is a pretty good way to kick off your uh, to to kick off your um, your reunion i guess not reunion but like you're you're way back basically because this is i would consider this like a second chance to be honest with you um because at first you know and if you guys don't know a lot of people and i think i know why the online services are off a lot of people really didn't play the game anymore i think not, they lost 99 percent and i'm not actually making that up i know i know i joke a lot and stuff like that but i legit if you look it up i think they lost 99 percent of their like player base um, and, and like I said, they had a really quick jump, a really quick jump. They were, they were, at, they were at the top and then they fell. They fell straight down. They didn't fall into like a neutral thing. They fell straight to the ground, which is okay. You know, I don't want people to think that, oh, well, th 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 this game, you know what? A we listen, we, we sit here, we talk about games all day, whatever. But at the end of the day, man, for you to even get a quick jump like that, that's impressive, like in itself. I understand that, you know, uh, people clown the game, you know, for falling off and stuff like that or whatever. Um, but the fact that they got to jump off it, it is is already impressive. So if you guys are ever, if, if anybody ever, you know, work for Multiverse, look at this video. Don't ever think that, you know, that, oh, just because your game didn't do, just because your game didn't hold, like, hold itself up doesn't mean that, like, you know, you guys failed or something. First of all, bro. When Multiverses came out, everybody was playing it. Everybody on the internet was playing that game. So, um, you know, it's fine. You know, it, it was just, you, you guys have a, a second chance now. Um, and I imagine, here's the thing. I imagine they have a lot of different characters, a lot of iconic characters just in the tuck. They're like, oh, yeah, we can't wait to drop these off. So, it, in my opinion, I feel like if they just keep dropping these updates and they, and, and they don't have, like, an update, like, one update per year, then, you know, it, it, they just keep being stagnant, kind of like the Fortnite thing. Cause I know a lot of like a lot of games copy up a Fortnite, but the thing is with Fortnite, the, the the way they stay relevant or the way they stay up or even stagnant or even neutral is because they're dropping, they're constantly dropping updates, they're constantly engaging with their fans, they're constantly adding something new to the game, um, and a lot of games simply don't do that. And, and I feel like a lot of and I feel like a lot of um, games have things. I feel like they have something. I feel, as a matter of fact, I feel like they have a lot. 
I feel like they have a lot in the back pocket. It's just they don't know when to drop it. Bro, if you want your game to be neutral and you want your game to have peaks and and, and, and ups and downs and, and, and but keep having peaks, then you know you have to you have to keep dropping. Like you can't just like drop something, go away for five months, and then drop something else. No, you have to you have to keep going. You have to you no know, like and that's the and for me that's just anything. That's just anything in life, not just like uh like video game, uh like how do you call it like video game or, or whatever that's just in anything you know if you want to get better at something you want to be like if you want to have like a strong base and foundation that's what i think they lacked i think this game lacked a strong core i feel like they didn't have a core they jumped up instantly and they fell because they didn't have a core like they didn't have anything to fall back on and then like you know even 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 if they didn't have anything if you had a core you would have people still playing your game while you're cooking up something in the back. You know what I'm saying? And so this is why, like, you know, you building a core audience, and that's in anything, whether you're a YouTuber, streamer, video game director, whatever. I know I'm yapping right now, but listen, I'm, I, I may be saying something. Uh, whether you're, like, in a content creator field, whether you're a TikTok, you know, streamer, TikTok, whatever, YouTuber, etc., you know, or, or a video game director, whatever. Um, you want to build a core, you know, so you can... You know, you could you could be sick for a little bit. You know, you could be like, you know what? But I'm fine. I got my core audience. You know, it's fine. I could take like a day off, t uh, two days off, whatever. First of all, shout out to y'all. You know, for uh, for you know, wishing me better and stuff like that. I really appreciate that. Um, but y'all, yeah, we're back. We're ready to go crazy. We've got a lot of trades to come through. Um, and I think that multiverses they're gonna they're gonna do well. They're gonna do, do really well, especially with this Joker release. So, see you guys later. Thanks for them out. And.